Stasiland, Stories from Behind the Berlin Wall, by Anna Funder is a poignant and captivating work of literary non-fiction that delves into the lives of individuals who experienced the tumultuous years of East Germany. Funder's book offers a unique blend of memoir, investigative journalism, and personal narratives that provide deep insights into the sinister and repressive regime of the Stasi, the East German secret police. The book opens with Funder's personal journey, her fascination with the history of East Germany, and her decision to move to Berlin in the 1990s. Through her own experiences, she establishes her presence as a part of the narrative, making the reader aware of the personal connection she has with the story she aims to tell. This personal touch allows readers to engage emotionally with the characters she introduces, creating a sense of immediacy and relatability. Funder's narrative style is marked by a nuanced exploration of both the macro and micro aspects of life behind the Berlin Wall. She weaves together historical facts with the lived experiences of the people who were directly impacted by the Stasi's surveillance and control. This interplay between the personal and the political makes the book not just informative but deeply human. The heart of Stasiland lies in the personal stories of those who lived under constant surveillance and fear. Funders' meticulous interviews with former Stasi officers, victims, and bystanders offer a kaleidoscope of perspectives. We encounter Julia, who was imprisoned for attempting to escape to the West, and Miriam, who was subjected to medical experiments by the Stasi. Funder's empathetic portrayal of these individuals humanizes their experiences and conveys the psychological toll of living in a state marked by paranoia and betrayal. One of the most striking aspects of Funder's narrative is her portrayal of the Stasi officers. Rather than painting them solely as villains, she explores their motivations and the moral dilemmas they faced. This approach adds depth to the book, blurring the lines between right and wrong, and showcasing the complexities of human nature. The book does not shy away from the horror of the Stasi's actions but offers a more complete understanding of the people behind these actions. Funder's writing is marked by vivid and evocative descriptions. Her portrayal of the Stasi headquarters, Hohenschenhausen, is particularly haunting. The oppressive atmosphere, the rooms filled with ghostly whispers, and the starkness of the building itself all contribute to a chilling image of the Stasi's power. Funder's ability to evoke such visceral reactions from the reader is a testament to her skill as a storyteller. The book also effectively portrays the sense of loss and displacement experienced by East Germans after the fall of the wall. Funder captures the disillusionment and nostalgia that lingered in the aftermath of reunification. The transition from a life under constant surveillance to the challenges of adapting to a new and unfamiliar system is a theme that resonates with readers, even those who did not experience it firsthand. Funder's work is not without its flaws. Some critics argue that her blending of personal narrative and historical investigation may occasionally lead to a lack of objectivity. However, this subjectivity is precisely what makes Stasiland so engaging. It allows readers to experience the emotional complexities of this history rather than simply providing a dry recitation of facts. In conclusion, Stasiland, Stories from Behind the Berlin Wall, by Anna Funder is a powerful exploration of the human side of history. Funder's ability to seamlessly blend personal anecdotes, historical research, and interviews into a coherent and emotionally resonant narrative is commendable. Her writing style draws readers into the world of East Germany, making them not just observers but participants in the lives of those who endured the Stasi's oppression. Stasiland is a compelling work that sheds light on a dark period of history while reminding us of the enduring human spirit in the face of adversity.